Hey guys, welcome to a little bit of everything with Erin. Thanks for sticking it out with me. Over the last couple of months, me and my daughter have been in and out of the hospital as a liver transplant patient. Um, she always has some kind of complication lately. So, you know, again, thanks for being patient. Anyway, let's get right into our video. Today, we'll be going over the brand ball font and how to use it. If you don't have the brand ball font, you can find it on defont.com. Make sure you read the description to see if you have personal or if you need to pay for commercial use. It is on that website to download for free, but again, make sure you read the description box. So I already have it loaded. I'm going to type in my first name. And as you can see, it is a cursive font. A lot of people like to use these for sports because if you use the numbers, you can get a tail on the end. That's a one. So what you want to do to get the tail is use your numbers. The higher the number, the longer the tail. Example, that's a one. You got a longer name, that's a nine. And that's a zero. So just depending on how long the name is or even how long the tail is, is what you want to hit. So I'm going to just use a one because that fits. You want to highlight it, right click, and hit weld. Because I do have an eye, has a dot on the top so that it's separate now. So I am going to right click and group that way it stays together. I'll just show it to you in color and I'll even take the cut lines off so you can see what it looks like. It's pretty cool. Now if you do have a name with a tail in the letter like a Y or a G, you will have some issues and I will show you right here. We'll add a tail on that. That's a five if anyone's wondering. So if we went and right clicked and hit weld, you'll see that the Y kind of disappears into the tail because it's all welding together. And this actually doesn't look bad, but some people really don't like that look. So we'll go back and I'll show you how to fix that. You want to right click and hit ungroup. Then you want to just highlight your Y or whatever letter has that long tail. You want to go to your offset function and you want to bring that in pretty close to the letter. I think I'm going to go with like a 0 0.05 or 0 0.04. Uh, yeah, that looks fine at 0 0.040. So I'm going to hit apply. And then I want to bring that offset to the front because right now it's sitting behind the tail. So I'm going to right click and hit bring to front. Then I'm going to shift and hold that and click on the tail. And I'm going to go to my modify window and I'm going to hit subtract all. Then I'm going to take just the offset and remove it. Now you can see, I'll zoom in, because the offset overlapped right here, it did subtract that as well. So what I want to do to fix that is just right click and hit ungroup so that it's its own piece now. Double click and I get all these edit points. And I'm just going to grab each one and drag it down back into the end of the Y here really quick. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it inside the red line of the Y. That should be fine. Now I'll zoom back out so you can see. And again, personal preference, you can either keep this piece or not. So that's without it. I personally like to keep it because the tail is behind it. So I feel like you would still see it. So anyway, you're going to highlight everything, right click and hit weld so that it all becomes one piece. And because of the separation now from the tail with the offset that we did in subtracting, it's two separate pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and group that just like I did with the other one. So it is one piece. And I'll color it and take off the cut line so you can see. So that's how you would do that. It's super easy. I know a lot of people get confused. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. I do try to get to those right away. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have ideas for other videos I should be doing, leave me a comment about that below too. I really do appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching and happy crafting.